Graphene oxide has now been reported to be in your face from a variety of vectors. I wanted to find out for myself if recent technological advancements might indeed be capable of subverting human free will. So I decided to head on over to PubMed, where for some reason, you always have to bring your own beer. The first study I found from 2019 describes an attempt to use two-dimensional graphene oxide nanoplatelets in a temperature-sensitive matrix to make hybrid nanogels with good stability and photothermal effect. I had to touch up on my vocabulary to understand this one, reviewing that photothermal describes the production of heat by light energy, and a nanogel is an extremely small polymer hydrogel measured in nanometers, which is one billionth of a meter. These nanogels can, for example, accelerate drug release under certain conditions, and most importantly, they say, can be further enhanced via remote photothermal treatment such as infrared light. A little further research, and I found out about a process called optogenetics, which is brain adjustment using light and genetics to control what essentially end up as genetically modified neurons or brain cells in living tissue which includes freely moving animals. In this study, they create a light responsive electrode to implant in the brain that is capable of electroporation, which is using high voltage electrical pulses to create transient pores in cell membranes. This is done in order to deliver genes into cells, a process called genetic transfection, and also to monitor brain activity and regulate brain cells with light. They make this brain interface using reduced graphene oxide in a nanohydrogel and report that it responds to a minimal 125 microamps for controllable gene delivery, allowing an eight-fold increase in the genetic modification of rat cells versus cells that were not electroporated. For our third study, released in October 2021, I had to learn the term actuate, which is to put into motion or to activate. Here they're talking about graphene oxide nanofiber-based actuation films for remote intelligent control applications. Specifically, they attach graphene oxide to a copper-containing nanofiber composite film, which then, quote, exhibited self-actuation behavior under the remote control of moisture and infrared light. This in turn suggests prospects for wide applications in emerging technologies, such as intelligent switches, artificial muscles, intelligent medical treatment, and flexible robots. And long-distance photoactuation, or light-based activation, had already been achieved in 2020 when reduced graphene oxide combined with protein aggregates was shown to be potentially capable of remote activation by high-powered laser from a distance of 50 kilometers, which is about 31 miles. Okay, so those laboratory geeks are up to some pretty crazy stuff. But transhumanism is still pretty far out there, right? And to the recent startup company InBrain Neuroelectronics out of Spain, who use graphene, the thinnest material known to man, to build the new generation of neural interfaces. To be more specific, their three technological pillars are in-brain technology, in-brain graphene, and in-brain artificial intelligence. They state that their scientists, doctors, techies, and humanity lovers with the mission of building neuroelectronic interfaces to cure brain disorders. So in other words, don't worry, they're humanity lovers. So what do you think? Do graphene-based AI interfaces represent an ultimate threat to human free will? I'm interested to hear your thoughts on this one and look forward to seeing you in the next video.